speak to him about a lot of things, you know. I choose my rabbis, as I'm sure you do. And um, I was once talking to him about the community and this and that, and he came out with a sentence to me, which uh, I adopted. He said, uh, I don't live in Alon Shvut, I live in my house. And uh, I, I really like that, you know, for me, uh, my house is, is uh, such a, an important place. And uh, inside my house, my study, it's like a tortoise shell, you know, I, I, inside my study, I feel like uh, I uh, can sit there for, for just hours and just sit there. Uh, and this is a house as well. And, and with house comes family, right, family. And um, it, it's like one of the most important things in Judaism. I'm sure the Americans amongst you know, know or have heard of Thanksgiving. We never had that in England because I don't think anyone thought of thanking God for England. Um, there was a night when we celebrated fireworks for someone who tried to blow up Parliament. But, but uh, I don't remember any Thanksgiving in England. Um, and I asked an American, you know, I was there once in November, so what is this Thanksgiving? And they said, you know, well, it, all families come together and it's more, it's more important than Christmas. Everyone from everywhere comes. It's the busiest day of the year and, 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 and air, air, airplanes. And, and the more they're describing it, the, I, I'm thinking, oh, that's just Shabbos, isn't it? It's like, Shabbos. That's what we do. We do that every week. That once a year, we do that every week. That's Shabbos, right? That's family. And that's, that's, what, that's what a house is, uh, is meant to represent. This is a house of Carl and Ilse Koch. Karl was the commandant of Majdanek. <coughs> Just a, a minute about commandants of death camps. I, I'm not sure you know this, but uh, it actually said so at the end of the film yesterday with Sobibor, that Reichleitner was, was sent to Trieste. Almost all the heads of death camps were sent to Trieste to fight the partisans with the absolute hope that they would be killed there. Uh -huh. uh, the, the, Hitler sent them to Trieste. He wanted them to be killed. He was killed there. Eber was <coughs> killed there. Stangl survived. Uh, Hess was working in Auschwitz till the end, so he, he never went. Um, because what they had done was so horrific that the Germans themselves didn't want them to survive. Uh, the people who were not only eyewitnesses, but, but could tell you all the details, as Hess does in his uh, diaries. And it's horrific that, that you can take something that, that a family when you talk about Rudolf Hess, you know, Rudolf Hess in 1943 was, there was some kind of corruption scandal at Auschwitz and uh, internal security sent Rudolf Hess back to Berlin on a, on a job. But as opposed to the book, The Boy in Striped Pyjamas, his wife and children stayed there. His wife chose to stay in their house in Auschwitz while her husband was working in Berlin until he came back to finish off Hungarian Jewry. Um, the wife stayed there. She wasn't shot by it at all. Uh, she stayed there. The gas chamber one of Auschwitz one is over the fence from their house, uh, and she stayed there. And behind every, every great man is a, is a wonderful woman. Behind every satanic man is a devil. And I want to speak to you a bit about Ilse Koch. Ilse Koch was, they say she was a beautiful woman. I suppose, uh, Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I've seen pictures. Didn't take such a liking to her myself. Uh, uh, there, there's, foot, there's, there's footage of this woman. Um, she used to ride around here on a horse and uh, with, a, with a whip. She used to whip people. And then when she saw a man who had a very good chest, she would uh, identify the man. She would have the man taken away. She would have him killed then she would take his chest and use it as canvas for painting. Oh, God. There are pictures that Elsa Cole drew. There's canvases of what she drew. Albert Speer in his book Inside the Third Reich, again, uh, part of it you have to take with a pinch of salt because he was defending his own good name. But he says in the Berghof, the Berghof was a, a, a collection of uh, villas that were built in the Bavarian Alps. Uh, Hitler's was the main one, but a lot of the ministers had, had villas next to him. And Albert Speer says that um, his kids once came running back from Heinrich Himmler's house in tears because they had seen tables that were made out of people's limbs. 
the, the legs of the tables were made out of people's limbs. And, um, and we, we go back to where we started yesterday, right? That Hitler was right, we are two opposites. We're totally, that we have nothing in common. And uh, where they see death, we see life. Where they see Toma, we see Tahara. And for us, there is nothing more Kadush than the family. Um, something I want to do, it depends on you. I, I, I think these things are incredible. One of the great advantages of coming with you on these trips is that there are men on them. You know, when I go to trips with girls, there are girls on them. Right? And uh, there is... Uh, there is... Uh, yeah, well, I told you, I, I wasn't yeah. making it up, yeah, a nice little yeah. straw yeah. through a cat. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's a lovely place to walk, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so something I would like to do here, um, in a positive sense, is those of you from South Africa and, and Australia, you, you know the game rugby, right? There is such a concept in rugby called a, a scrum, right? And that's when... A group of people come together in the middle of a game, this is my interpretation, and because they've been fighting and arguing, they want to hug each other. So, so they stop the game and they all come together and they hug each other and they all get around. And that's what happens, right? And they all sit there and they, and they hug each other. And um, so I, I, I like, if we walk out of a flag with a forest that they sang Hatikva in a bad way, and if we try to walk out with Jeremy on our shoulders yesterday, so I think... Um, we, we should stand outside of a house and uh, express what family is. And uh, so I'm asking your uh, cooperation. We'll do this in the religious way. So the men will do it on one side and the women on the other. Uh, we'll do two nice little familial hugs scrum. just in this place. A scrum. A scrum. I don't know what scrum. No, a hug, a hug. No, I don't, I don't know what a scrum really is. A mass, a mass hug. Okay. You With your cooperation, women over here, men over here.